Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. On today's Tia and Hennessy show, we will be highlighting Keisha K. Your Road to Success. I asked you guys on my community tab who you wanted me to highlight first, and you guys voted for Keisha K. Your, so that's what we're doing today. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Now let's get right into it. So before Keisha K. Your became widely known across the world, before she became the wife of Gucci Mane and before starting multiple million dollar businesses. Keisha Kior previously went by the name Keisha Dior. Keisha Kior was born Keisha Watson in St. Thomas, Jamaica on January 6, 1985. She lived with her mom and dad in St. Thomas before moving to Miami with her mom when her dad was unfortunately gunned down and killed at their home in front of Keisha. Kayor was only 10 years old at the time when this all happened. Growing up in Jamaica, I witnessed my dad being murdered. Mm. So, what part of Jamaica? Kings? St. Thomas. St. Thomas. His own friend set him up to be murdered. So you saw your father get killed in front of you? Yeah, he, um, he was coming home one night and they were outside waiting in the bushes for him to walk in and they shot him in his head. So A week later after her dad's unfortunate death, her and her mom packed their bags and fled the island of Jamaica and landed in Miami. How old were you? Then. Damn. We left Jamaica a week later. When Keisha became of age, she went to college to become a nurse like her mom, but dropped out because the nurse life wasn't for her. She also went ahead and studied some cosmetology, which led her to become a celebrity stylist. Keisha K.R. always knew what she wanted, how she wanted it, and when she wanted it. So she moved to South Beach to pursue a modeling career. She appeared in several black men's magazines and landed her first role in Timberland's Say Something music video featuring Drake. From there, Keisha K.R. gained more credibility and was able to book more roles in music videos. From Yo Gotti's We Can Get It On music video and Lil Wayne's YMCMB music video, Welcome To My Hood, featuring Rick Ross, Plies, T-Pain, and DJ Khaled. One night in 2009, Keisha was getting ready to go out and she needed a lipstick color in blue to match her blue shoes and dress. After looking high and low at all the big makeup brands, she couldn't find a blue lipstick, so she decided to make her own that same night. Her friends told her that she couldn't wear the blue lipstick and that she shouldn't wear the blue lipstick because she would get made fun of. But being Keisha, she does what she wants, when she wants, and how she wants it. So, like I said, she decided to make her own that same night. Mixing blue eyeshadow and lip gloss together, she created a highly pigmented sky blue lipstick. On a personal note, I've always been inspired and motivated by Keisha K. Yours' drive and uniqueness and creativity. And in 2016, I did the same Thing and mix my eyeshadow with lips gloss with lip gloss to make a lipstick in any color, and I went for a blue and black. But I had no idea that's what Keisha did by mixing her eyeshadow with her lip gloss. This was the first I heard of it, but I think it's super dope that I did the same thing and got the same outcome. After Keisha went out that night and wore her blue lipstick, she became the talk of the town in all the blogs the very next day. At this time, Keisha Kayora wasn't really all that known, but after that blue lipstick and her famous mohawk era, everyone wanted to know, who is that girl? Girls around the world started paying attention to her style and her uniqueness and wanted to dress like her, be like her, wear the same clothes, wear the same makeup, which prompted Keisha Kayor to start her own cosmetics business. Her very first product being her blue lipstick that her friends told her she shouldn't be wearing out. The irony of it all, isn't it ironic? This is the color that started it. It's actually a really bright metallic blue. After her lipsticks were seen in several music videos, after creating lipstick colors for her famous best friend, Trina, which was a neon pink lipstick. This is Trina Rockstar, and this is my new color. And creating a baby pink lipstick for Snooki 
from the popular reality TV show, Jersey Shore. Hi, it's Snooki, and I'm very excited because I have my own lipstick. It's called Snookalicious, and it's baby pink, and it's phenomenal. Her lipsticks gain all the credibility and recognition it needed to become very successful. And in 2011, Keisha officially launched Kaior Cosmetics. She made her first million dollars in just six months and get there herself a Royce Royce. She has gained close to 8 million followers on IG and a slew of loyal customers that trust her brand and what she puts out. KOR three-headed businesses are valued at a whopping $30 million. KOR explains the reason she's so successful and rich is due to the fact she doesn't have any overhead expenses she is debt free. She does not have a mortgage. She paid for her home in cash, which she built from the ground up. All her cars in cash. She doesn't own any credit cards. She doesn't have any partners and she continues to invest in herself. Keisha Kayor has a line of fitness products called Kayor Fitness that was launched in 2013. She also launched her last business adventure, which was called, which is called Kayor Hair in 2017. And her and Gucci Mane have walked their closet together that they launched as well. Since Keisha Kayor came on the scene, she has dominated the game. She is one of the first IG baddies slash models and leveraged the heck out of the social media market to become very successful worldwide. Keisha Kayor Davis is a mother, a wife, an incredible businesswoman, a serial entrepreneur, a trendsetter, and a very rich woman all on her own. She has it all, beauty, desire, motivation, skills, drive, experience, money, family, and God. The only thing missing is a How to Do It Kayor handbook. She continues to build her empire one day at a time, while encouraging and inspiring others just like me. There's so much more we can add to Keisha K. Your journey to success in her personal life as well, like her being in a Gucci Mane's 911 emergency video and rather be music video by Gucci Mane and how on how they met, but that can be another video for another day. Let me know if y'all want to see that down in the comments below. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and loved everything that I put together. It took me forever. Oh my gosh, y'all have no idea. I'm so glad it's over with. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload it. Go ahead and share this video with your friends and family and anyone you think will be inspired by Keisha K. Your Davis story. But like I said, this is the end of the video. Y'all go ahead and leave y'all comments down below and let me know what you guys like or found out new about Keisha that you guys didn't know. Drop it below in the comments. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And let me know who you would like for me to highlight next in the comments. You know what? I'll actually go ahead and put it in my community tab. Drop some people down below. Drop some um, successful black entrepreneurs down below. That's female that we can go over and discuss. And yeah, y'all, thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Y'all already know what time it is. I'll see you guys on the next video. Toodles. Bye.